Hi guys, so for this video I'm using yarn in size 4 medium and a crochet hook in size 5 millimeters. So I'll start by making a slip knot. Now I'll make sure to leave this first chain loose, like that, and then I'll chain 4. Now right there through the fourth chain from the hook I'll make uh, 12 double crochet. This 3 chain already counts as 1, so we make 11 more. Now to finish row 1, right here through this third chain I'll make a slip stitch. So this completes row 1. Now for row 2 I'll chain 4. Now right there through the same chain I'll make 1 double crochet. Through this next double crochet chain I'll make 1 front post double crochet. Through this next double crochet chain, I'll make one double crochet. I'll chain one, then through the same chain, I'll make one double crochet. Now, through this next front post double crochet, I'll make one front post double crochet. Again, through this next double crochet chain, I'll make one double crochet chain one, then through the same chain I'll make one double crochet. Again, through this next front post double crochet chain I'll make one front post double crochet. Through this next double crochet chain, one double crochet. Chain one, then through the same chain I'll make one double crochet. Again, through this next front post double crochet I'll make one front post double crochet. Through this next double crochet chain I'll make one double crochet, chain one and through the same chain I'll make one double crochet. Through this next front post double crochet I'll make one front post double crochet. Through the next double crochet chain I'll make one double crochet, chain one and through the same chain I'll make one double crochet. Now through this next front post double crochet I'll make one front post double crochet. And to finish row 2, right here through this third chain, I'll make a slip stitch. So this completes row 2. Now for row 3, right here through this one chain loop, I'll make a slip stitch and then I'll chain 4. Now through that same one chain loop, I'll make one double crochet. Now I'll chain one. Now right here through this front post double crochet, I'll make two front post double crochet. I'll chain one. Through this next one chain loop, I'll make one double crochet. Chain one. Then through the same one chain loop, I'll make one double crochet. Chain one. Through this next front post double crochet, I'll make two front post double crochet. Chain one, through this next one chain loop I'll make one double crochet. Chain one, then through the same one chain loop I'll make one double crochet. Chain one, through this next front post double crochet I'll make two front post double crochet. Chain one, through this next one chain loop I'll make one double crochet. Chain one, then through the same one chain loop I'll make one double crochet. Chain one, through this next front post double crochet I'll make two front post double crochet. Chain one. Through this next one chain loop I'll make uh, one double crochet. Chain one. Then through the same one chain loop I'll make one double crochet. Chain one. Through this next front post double crochet I'll make uh, two front post double crochet. Chain one. Through this next one chain loop right there to the V-stitch I'll make one double crochet. 
chain one, then through the same one chain loop, I'll make one double crochet. Chain one, through his next front post double crochet, I'll make two front post double crochet. Now to finish row three, I'll chain one, then right here through his third chain, I'll make a slip stitch. So this completes row three. Now uh, for row four, right here through his one chain loop, I'll make a slip stitch. I'll chain four. Then through the same one chain loop, I'll make one double crochet. So now I will chain one again. Now you see here in the previous row, we made two front post double crochet. So now uh, through the first front post double crochet, I'll make one front post double crochet. Now through that loop between these two front post double crochet, I'll make two double crochet. So one and two. Now through his next front post double crochet I'll make one front post double crochet. And now I'll chain one. Now through his next one chain loop right here through his V stitch I'll make one double crochet. I'll chain one then through that same one chain loop I'll make one double crochet. Again I'll chain one. Now right here through his next front post double crochet, I'll make one front post double crochet. Now right here through that loop between these two front post double crochet, I'll make two double crochet through the same loop. Now through this next front post double crochet, I'll make one front post double crochet. I will chain one then right here through his next V stitch, through that one chain loop, I'll make one double crochet. I'll chain one, then through that same one chain loop, I'll make one double crochet. I'll chain one again through his next two front post double crochet. Through his first front post double crochet, I'll make one double crochet. Through that loop between these two front post double crochet, I'll make two double crochet. Through his next front post double crochet, I'll make one front post double crochet. So I'll repeat this throughout row four. Now I'll chain one, then right here through his third chain, I'll make a slip stitch. So this completes row four. Now through his next one chain loop, four or five, I'll make a slip stitch. I will chain four. Then through that same one chain loop, I'll make one double crochet. Again, I'll chain one. Now again, through his next uh, front post double crochet, I'll make two front post double crochet. Through his next two double crochet chains, I'll make one double crochet through each chain. Through his last front post double crochet, I'll make two front post double crochet. Now I'll chain one, then through his V stitch, ready right through it one chain loop, I'll make one double crochet. Chain one, then through the same one chain loop, I'll make one double crochet. Chain one, through his next front post double crochet, I'll make two front post double crochet. Through his next two double crochet chains, I'll make one double crochet through each chain. Through his last double crochet chain, I'll make two front post double crochet. Through his next V stitch, ready right through it one chain loop, I'll make one double crochet. Chain one, then through the same one chain loop, I'll make one double crochet. So I will repeat this throughout row 5. Now to finish row 5, I'll chain 1, then right here through this third chain, I'll make a slip stitch. So this completes row 5. Now for row 6, through this next one chain loop, I'll make a slip stitch. I'll chain 4. Then through that same one chain loop, I'll make one double crochet. Chain 1. Now through this next front post double crochet, I'll make two front post double crochet.
through the next four double crochet chains. So make one double crochet through each chain. Through his last double crochet chain, I'll make two front poles double crochet. I'll chain one, then right here through his V stitch, through that one chain loop, I'll make one double crochet. Chain one, then through that same one chain loop, I'll make one double crochet. Chain one, now right here through his next front pole double crochet, I'll make uh, two front poles double crochet. Through his next four double crochet chains, I'll make one double crochet through each chain. Through his last double crochet chain, I'll make two front poles double crochet. So you can see we are increasing with the front poles double crochets. Again, I'll chain one now through his next V stitch right there through one chain loop, I'll make one double crochet. Chain one that through the same one chain loop, I'll make one double crochet. So we repeat this throughout row six. Now to finish row six, uh, I'll chain one, then right here through his third chain, I'll make a slip stitch. Now for row 7, through his next one chain loop, I'll make a slip stitch. And row 7 will be the last row of increases. So I'll chain 4. Then uh, right here through the same one chain loop, I'll make one double crochet. Chain 1. Now right here through his next front pose double crochet, I'll make one. Uh, now right here through his next front pose double crochet, I'll make two front pose double crochet. Through his next six chains, I'll make one double crochet through each chain. One, two, three, four, five, and six. Through his last double crochet chain, I'll make two front post double crochet. Again, I'll chain one. Now through his next V stitch through that one chain loop, I'll make one double crochet. Chain one, then through that same one chain loop, I'll make one double crochet. Chain one, through his next front pose double crochet, I'll make two front pose double crochet. Through his next six double crochet chains, I'll make one double crochet through each chain. Through his last front pose double crochet, I'll make two front pose double crochet. Again, I'll chain one, then right here through his next V stitch to that one chain loop, I'll make one double crochet. I'll chain one, then through the same one chain loop, I'll make one double crochet. So we repeat this throughout row seven, and as I said earlier, this is a last row of increases. Now to finish row 7, I'll chain 1, then right here through his third chain, I'll make a slip stitch. So this completes row 7. Now for row 8, right here through his next one chain loop, I'll make a slip stitch. Now I will chain 4, then through that same one chain loop, I'll make one double crochet. I will chain 1. And now, uh, through his first front post double crochet, I'll make one front post double crochet. Now, through his next eight double crochet chains, I'll make one double crochet through each chain. Now through his last front post double crochet, I'll make one front post double crochet. 
I'll chain one. Now through this next one chain loop, right there to the V stitch, I'll make one double crochet, chain one, then through the same one chain loop, I'll make one double crochet, chain one. Now through this next front post double crochet, I'll make one front post double crochet. Through this next eight double crochet chains, I'll make one double crochet through each chain. Through this last double crochet chain right there, I'll make one front post double crochet. I'll chain one. Now right here through this V stitch so that one chain loop, I'll make one double crochet. Chain one, then through that same one chain loop, I'll make one double crochet. So uh, we repeat this throughout row eight. So when you work in a circle, your work will appear wide for a while, but don't worry, it's the design of the hat. It's nothing to worry about. Uh, last few rows, I'll show you how to decrease and, and just uh, uh, make it look nice and neat. So yeah, we repeat this uh, throughout row 8 and then we repeat row 8. Uh, honestly, I have no idea for how many rows because this is the first time I'm making this hat. It's just coming straight from my head. <laughs> So, um, yeah, I'll come back and, and uh, tell you for how many rows we will repeat this. We draw 8 until we have 17 rows in total. So, so far it measures 8 and a half inches. Hmm. Alright, so 4 row 18. Yeah, through a double crochet chain, I insert my hook, then I insert my hook to a slip knot loop, pull through, and then I'll chain one, then through that same chain, I'll make one half double crochet. Now, through this double crochet chain, and through this one chain loop, I'll make two half double crochet. So that will be our first decrease. Now right here through this one chain loop I'll make one half double crochet. Again through this next one chain loop and through this next double crochet chain I'll make uh, two half double crochet. That will be a decrease. Alright. Now one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Now through these next eight chains, I'll make one half double crochet through each chain. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. Now through this next double crochet chain and through this next one chain loop, I'll make two half double crochet. That is a decrease. Now through this one chain loop, I'll make one half double crochet. Through this next one chain loop and through this next double crochet chain, I'll make two half double crochet. And that is a decrease. Now through this next eight chains, I'll make one half double crochet through each chain. Again, through this next double crochet chain and through this next one chain loop, I'll make two half double crochet decrease. Through this one chain loop, I'll make one half double crochet. Through this next one chain loop and through this next double crochet chain, I'll make two half double crochet decrease. And then again, through this next eight chains, I'll make one half double crochet through each chain. So we repeat this throughout row 18. So to finish row 18, right here through this first half double crochet chain, I'll make a slip stitch. I'll chain one and I'll cut this yarn. And I use uh, yarn in color A again.
Now, right here through this first half double crochet chain, I insert my hook, then I insert my hook through the slip knot loop and pull through. Again, I'll chain one, then through the same chain, I'll make one half double crochet. Alright, the chain is a bit too loose. Hold on. Now, again, we'll decrease. So through the next three chains, I will decrease with half double crochet. So one, two, and three. Again, through the next eight chains, I'll make one half double crochet three chain. So one. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. Now, through the next three chains, I'll decrease with. Uh, now, through the next three chains, I'll make three half double crochet decrease. So one. Two and three. Again, for the next eight chains, I'll make one half double crochet through each chain. Then through the next three chains, I'll make a three half double crochet decrease. So I'll repeat this throughout row 19. Now to finish row 19, right here through this first half double crochet chain, I'll make a slip stitch. And this completes row 19. Now I'll chain one, and I'll cut this yarn again. Now for row 20, now for row 20 I use yarn in color B. Now right here through this first half double crochet chain I insert my hook, then I insert my hook through a slip knot loop and pull through. I will chain one, then through the same chain I'll make one half double crochet. Then through the same chain I'll make one half double crochet. Now, through the next chain, I'll make one half double crochet. Through the next chain, one half double crochet. Through the next chain, one half double crochet. So I'll continue making one half double crochet through each chain throughout row 20. So yeah, we'll continue making one half double crochet through each chain throughout row 20. Now to finish row 20, right here through this first half double crochet chain, I'll make a slip stitch and I'll chain one and I'll cut this yarn. So this completes row 20. Now for row 21, I will use yarn in color A, kind of like the stripes here, the three stripes. And right here through this first half double crochet chain, I insert my hook, then I insert my hook through a slip knot loop and pull through. I will chain one, then through the same chain, I will make one half double crochet. Through this next chain, I'll make one half double crochet. Then through the next chain, I'll make one half double crochet. So I'll continue making one half double crochet through each chain. So basically for this row, for row 21, we repeat row 20, only in this case we are using yarn in different color. That's the only difference really. So 
and then when you come at the end of the row we will just join here with a slip stitch so I'm not going to repeat I'm not going to repeat the same row over and over on camera so what I'm going to do is I'm going to see how many more rows I'm going to have to make off the camera and then come back and tell you guys so we repeat this until we have 23 rows in total so now that we are at the end of this row I guess it would be easier to show you how to join this now because I'm using brighter colors so with the yarn needle see right here through this chain through this first half double crochet chain I insert my needle pull through so the yarn is now on the inner part of the hat and now you see here this uh, half double crochet chain on the right well right there to the center I insert my needle then pull through you see this tighten it like that and now you can't even tell where we joined it's pretty cool I know I always keep saying that <laughs> every time I use this finish but it still blows my mind um, so now we'll just uh, secure this yarn we don't want it to untangle right there mm -hmm. yeah we just ouch this is a sharp needle I like the other one these are too sharp I actually poked my finger yeah so I'll just weave these ends in and then we will be done I think this is going to look nice. Yes. Let's measure this hat. Alright. Let's do it this way so it will be easier for me to measure it. So it, it's 11 inches long, the wide part is uh, 10 and a half inches but keep in mind it's, it has a lot of room in there. Now the headband area where we decreased is 9 inches wide. So yeah this is all for today guys, I hope you like this video and uh, Thank you so much for watching.